It's night time. Eric is so cold. Melly, help Ricky. <laughs> Ricky can barely flap to Kiwi form. <laughs> but Ricky danced the dance of coldness. <laughs> Ricky's still happy. <laughs> Seizure your warning, guys. <laughs> I like how we just slowed down. <laughs> Ricky is a goddamn pinball in the seg segment. And Melly's gonna help with a starlit kick. Hiya! <laughs> it didn't help. Well, on that shaky start, hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we got another skill tree. And one for the lovely woman called Fiora. I should got her to rashness. Hopefully, hopefully it'll clear up. Yeah. Now, in this episode though, we are gonna take the lovely High Empress Melia. And we are going to continue helping her subjects because a new end game. So we we want to make sure that we clear a few things up. Ah. Ah. And we've also got new attires, but that's not important right now because Melly looks like a Disney princess. Melly looks. Or Fjord looks like a, a Disney villain slash power ranger, and Ricky looks like a Disney sidekick. <laughs> With waggling pineapple hair. Let's examine. Let's talk. Let's talk about uh, the forefathers. Fiora, Fiora, what is it, Ricky? What is thing, Fiora? Ricky, think. Wow, Ricky, like it. This is a statue made to look like the Hyantia forefathers. Melia told us, remember? Poor father? Like Ricky? No, no, Ricky. I said forefathers. I'm sure he wasn't poor like you. You're sure. Fairly sure. They're the founders of Melia's family line. So that means Melia's great grampy pawns? Yeah, exactly. They're even credited with bringing civilization to Bionis. Hmm. What's wrong? Ricky want to meet Statue Man. That would be amazing. Imagine all the things you could ask him. Ricky think all bird people were very, very big. Melly said something similar, but it could be a legend. Anyway, I doubt they were quite as big as a statue. Ricky very jealous. Jealous? Why? Because of their size? <laughs> You're a great size, Ricky. I bet it's not all roses being big. Think about your little pond growing to be giants. Oh, but, but that sound bad for your Ricky's guy just thinking about it. Let upon crash whole village. And you wouldn't be so cute and cuddly. Fiora? Hello? Oh, sorry, <laughs> drifted off there. Anyway, I wonder where the others are. Ricky wanted to be giant, giant nubble and crush everything inside. <laughs> and he'd be able to have biggest snap ever. Ah. Village be Ricky ah. home. Anyway, though, that—that's just—that's just a little nice heart to heart. You know what? Maybe one day we will learn about Melly's forefathers, or or more about Alchemoth, because you never know what the future may hold, or you never know what uh, the future might uh, connect. Hint, yeah. <laughs> hint, 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 nudge, nudge. <laughs> foreshadow, for uh, foreshadow, foreshadow to the forefathers. Anyway, moving forward. Can I say the word for enough? I don't want to sound for foreboding, but who knows? I'm not gonna force it. <laughs> Even more. Let's go forth! <laughs> Never say I'm not funny. Because I'm not funny. Like, like this kid. This kid has a bit of an infamous. Uh, uh, rapport with us, and we'll say so why later. Uh, what am I gonna do? I need more experience if I want to be like those guys. But that's impossible now. 
Mm, you're gonna listen to me, right? Well, I really want to be like Zane and his partner. Really? <laughs> based on based on recent circumstances, no. That's why I want to know lots and lots about the stars. Adventures like Zane and Kurov are always telling people stories. When I grow up, I want to do the same thing too. I realize that's recently that's, that's my dream. So there's someone called Miral who knows lots about stars, but I don't know where she is. She's not around during the day, so I think she's around at night. But I'm not allowed to go out at night time. So I don't know what to do. Yay, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad you're gonna be help me. Thank you so much. It's not like you could just ask someone who knows her to be like, hey, can you come out during the day? <laughs> I mean, what is she, a goddamn vampire, Hyantia? <laughs> Cause she's clearly not a god. Oh well. Either way though. I'm going, to, I'm going to ignore you for now. Because uh, that's what princesses do. Why, hello there. Can I help you with something? I see a boy who wishes to study the stars. An honest interest in the stars. This boy sounds very promising. He will need a telescope if he is to deepen his knowledge. But sadly, I only have the one telescope myself. I could make him one if you could get me the materials. All I need are some silver eeks plates. I do hope you'll help. Luckily... We, we do. <laughs> Impressive. Everything they say about you is true. Such efficiency. Thank you kindly. Right, I'll get started on making the telescope right away. Good timing. It's done. Please give it to the boy. I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Again, it's not like you could just say, hey, can I know where this kid lives and can I just leave it by his doorstep or, or I don't know, knock on the door? Because seriously, who is, who, who is asleep at 7pm at night? <laughs> not us. No. We're, <laughs> we're not even asleep at midnight. No. <laughs> we, we pretty much go to sleep at like, what, 3am? Give yeah. or take now, nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, guys. What? What's your normal time of going to sleep? I'm curious. And what time? And uh, what time do you know I'm normally wake up? And can I, can I say though, are those waterfalls? Oh, so luscious and sparkly. They look fun and water sparkle. Ah, uh, makes you wish you could just swim in a place like this. Mm-hmm. How come I should open a water park? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be fun where where Ricky would never leave. Again, I mean, just wish they had the video game fiend wa wa water park. Mm -hmm. Fiora Y. <laughs> you got something to give me from Morel? What what is it? It's so there's a telescope. That's cool. I'm always looking up at the sky. Now I'll be able to see the stars really, really, really clearly. <laughs> Get days resist because you could say we're starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, I have another problem. I've been wanting to watch the stars from the window every night. <laughs> right. <laughs> Clearly, you have. You lying little sack of shite. <laughs> it doesn't feel like enough anymore. Kids these days, I swear. Yeah, it's horrible. Once you see a little bit, you just want to see more and more and more. So can you please, please, please help me with this? I heard there's a clever knob on the round. I think that he might be able to make my telescope better. But he only comes out at night. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Oh, that might be knob on the Greggy. Why? Easy. Or knob on very clever. Really? Well, I suppose you, you'd know. I don't know where he is, but I'm sure you can find him. Yay! I'm so happy. Soon I'll be able to see few more stars. Please take my tell my tell with Please give it to the Nupon if you need it. Now, I don't know about you, but this uh, this actually brings up a problem I have with modern gaming, and I know, and I know, this is gonna be like an old an old man, you know, shouting at clouds in the sky, <laughs> but. 
back in my day, when you had, when you played video games, you only had access to, uh, to the one, because there wasn't no Steam, there was, there was no GOG or any uh, online store. You just let, let you had your consoles and whatever game you had at the time. And for me, whatever game you had, you played until, uh, until completion, and therefore you had an appreciation of all the games. Now, n nowadays I feel like it's a lost art. <laughs> but oh well. Anyway, random, not on what is this? What is this? Oh, you want me to make it better? For Kaliki is no problem. But I don't have the materials, I need to show off my skills. Why don't you go and get the materials for me? If you do, I can make the telescope somewhat stronger. Stronger. <laughs> stronger. -ra 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 -ra. Materials is easy to get, but it's in the high end the tomb. Why? It's simple, really. There are high-end defense machines there, you see? So they are bound to use really strong and powerful materials. And we don't have enough because... Well, at least we know what that... What that is. <laughs> and what this side quest is meant to do is... Uh, is it's, meant, it's meant to introduce you to the concept of... Of hidden areas and looking for the environment. Which, you know what, I could definitely appreciate, but thankfully we we know, I know exactly where where it is. But, again, it's a nice, it, it's a nice start for those people who go through a game just by the story. And it makes sense, because the items in there are ruby glasses and Melius summon bolts, so it's about this time when you get those items. Oh uh, yeah, but we, I think we found this place on our first tri trip here too. Mm-hmm. But it just begs the question. I don't know. It it kind of it kind of goes back at, at, at my point on modern gaming because I really don't understand why some people go through have the attitude of of like I go through the story and that's it. It's like really, you're not going to explore. You're not going to you know you know see the sights, experience the music, do do any side quests. Some people probably just don't really like side quests, and I can't blame them to some degree. Oh, no, 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 I get that, but the, I'm just willing, I'm just kind of the guy who's willing to give side quests a chance to see if there's anything different with them, because you never know if something changed unless you go back and, and experience it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Hello? You've already got the part? Oh, show, Kaleki, show. <clears throat> show it to me. If you would. Yes, no problem at all. I like how this Nupon's trying to not speak like a Nupon. <laughs> I'm trying to be refined Nupon. Well done on getting the part. And now I shall begin my great endeavor. Allow me to borrow that telescope a while. All done. Yay! <clears throat> please, re please return it to the child. I am weary after my efforts, I I leave the rest to you. You talk like you've just been in a big battle. <laughs> what did you fight with? The telescope? <laughs> oh, I struggled for it. It it became a snake. It tried to wrap itself around me, but I but I subdued it. <laughs> and now I take my leave. And I rest. Now Melia apparently walks on a tightrope. Oh, look at me! I'm one of those. I'm one of those. I'm one of those ruffians who like going in the middle of es escalators, or even worse, I'm one of those idiots who go up the down escalator, <laughs> or for the other way round, <laughs> and cause hassle for everyone involved. Why? Because I suck. <gasps> that went off on a weird, weird tone. I apologize. Huh? He made the telescope more powerful. Just for me? Let me see, let me see! This is so cool! I see things in the daytime! <laughs> hey kid, look towards the sun. It'll be great. <laughs> I don't understand how it's been changed, but it's better It's better now, right? I'm gonna try it out. This, this is really cool! I can see things by, um, as clearer than, than before. I'm so grateful to Kalika! And of course, you, you, you too. <laughs> You insignificant little brat! You made my dream come true. Thank you so much. Will this be enough to keep me satisfied until until I'm grown? No, it won't. 
<laughs> no, it won't. Aww. Kids these days have no attention span. That's why you as that's why YouTube's are the way it is. Mm -hmm. uh, to to put the story short, the reason why he's he's infamous Jiru, uh, for us too is that I can't remember, I can't remember the context or whether it was part of a let's play or, or just a random playthrough. But I can I can remember us looking everywhere for this kid. Yeah, everywhere. <coughs> Because whether it was a side quest we missed or whether or whether we needed him for something But we just couldn't find him at all and since the draw distance on the original Wii Wii version was not the best We didn't we couldn't see him mm -hmm. and he was just off and Then we find him and then he gets to be like oh I'm bored now make me make, make it better <laughs> it's Like thanks Thanks, prick. And I can think of another reason uh, recently why I'm not a fan of him. Go on. Because I can remember in our last, when our last playthrough, we did his side quest, and the very episode was an ep the episode after the definitive edition was announced. We had no idea during that episode. Really? Yeah, I think it was episode eighty six. Was had stars in the name. I even put the trailer in in the beginning, but we did had no idea when we recorded that episode, so it's there. <laughs> he was a prerequisite of what's to come, and now we're training. <laughs> no connection whatsoever. Well, if someone could help my son with his training, he might be all right. But I doubt I'll find anyone able to help him so easily. I'm really at a loss. Seems like she has a few problems. Hopefully she'll be all right. No, I don't want to play. Please go away. <laughs> you know what? In retrospect, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have said that because, because uh, one of these days that kid's gonna listen to me. <laughs> well, well, what do you know? Excuse me, could you help me? My son said he was gonna go and do some training. Then before I could stop him, he ran off towards Erisi. He has no idea just how dangerous Erisi is. Oh dear. I feel terrified just thinking what might happen. Please, you look strong. Please help me find him. Oh, thank you. I'm counting on you. As soon as I say a kid's gonna listen to me, and guess what? They piss off when I say, piss off, child. <laughs> well, you should probably watch what I say in the future. Oh my god, Melly and Fiora are no longer enemies. They're now... <laughs> they're now... Frenemies. <sighs> Frenemies, they like disliking one another. <laughs> Frenemies, they're like my least favorite brother. I tried to make a song, a song there, but then it went nowhere. <laughs> For we know is now when they inevitably fight over Shulk, it's gonna be le less bloody, less hair pulling, yeah. oh. less catty. <laughs> Even though I think Fiora would win with one headbutt, but hey ho. <laughs> yeah, because Melly's so squishy. And especially with uh, uh, Fiora with uh, the horde. Luckily, though, the, the, uh, the kid's not that far. He's right here punching a boulder. What? Who are you? Huh, my mom's worried that I haven't come back yet. Oh no! I got so caught up here that I totally forgot to go home. I was too busy punching a rock. <laughs> it's coming to tell me. I'll head back right now. Through, I don't know, high end teleportation, or Melia ate him base, <laughs> base, base, base on that animation. <laughs> oh. It's like that I tucked him in my pocket. <laughs> Melly has deep pockets. And that's because she's royalty. Maybe that's how NBCs go home. Or maybe Dixon and Alvis. Are they in Shulk's pocket? <laughs> <laughs> the, 
they have like a mini a mini Albus and a mini Dixon. Ah, <laughs> oh, and you know someone's gonna say, "Oh, look, sure, you've got a you've got a mini." <laughs> It's the internet. You know, you know they would. You know, you know they would. Or like, if you want to be really cheeky, when Ryan's in Valak Mountain and said, "I could really go for a cup of Dixon's hot home brew, but cut it off." <sighs> a cup. A cup of. Cup of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that image online. <laughs> You can make all kinds of jokes in this game with Dixon's name doing that. Of course you could, because we're 12. <laughs> he came home safely. I don't know how to thank you. I was sick with worry, but Marilaz is safe. I'm so, so relieved. Here's a little token of my thanks. Please take it. We'll get a weapon power four from Ephraim. Ephraim, a big, beefy son. <laughs> Private note, guys, we are gonna call things things there. So, so we helped a kid li live his dreams about seeing the stars dur during the daytime. That that works. And we've also sorted out a runaway son who listened to the wrong people. <laughs> but hey ho. But that's uh, that's sort of guys. Thank Thank you very much for watching. If if you like this video, then guess what? You're you're a star. <laughs> and if this like if this like the video, well then, I'll make you see stars. Or Melly in a bush. I guess that works. You can hardly see Ricky, except for the pineapple. <laughs> Ricky incognito. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. <laughs> Ricky is a sand shark. <laughs> was there a need, Ricky? I really, I really, I really thought he was gonna jump, jump over and go back. Our AI partner's been weird today. Yeah. But if you want to subscribe to see more content like this, then be sure to subscribe and thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time. But hopefully Ricky's a little less shaky. <laughs>